From Universal Studios Hollywood, welcome to Home and Family. Welcome, welcome to Home and Family. I am Tim. Oh, I wish you were. <laughs> <laughs> Today I, I will be. You will uh, be? You're going to morph into him? Oh my gosh. No, I'm Christina. I... Welcome. Her paintings sell for $30,000. She's compared to some of the greatest expressionists in history. She lectures at the National Art Conferences. And get this, she's just 11, 11 years, years old. old. Welcome, Autumn welcome. Forrest. <laughs> The most mature 11 year old I have ever met. Thank you. Yes. Uh, happy birthday, Christina. I want to give this to you. Thank you. It's what very special to me, yeah. and I'm going to show you how to use it later. I use it for creating. She does. And wait till you find out the magic she creates with this little rod, because I saw <laughs> you do it. Not magic, but her beautiful, beautiful artwork that you do that's extraordinary. I have never seen anything like that. A sweet Thank talker. You. Oh. Yeah, oh my gosh. Thank you, sir. This is That's great. I will cherish it. Okay, so look, there are amazing people in the world, and we have found one of them, and we want to introduce you to her. Her name is Autumn DeForest, and she is 11, and she is here, and she's amazing because she does these phenomenal paintings that are well beyond your years. Welcome. Welcome. Again. It's nice to have you here. So, how long have you been painting? I have been. I've been painting since I was five years old. And the first time that you actually picked up a paintbrush, I understand you went into the garage, your father was working out there, and something enticed you. Tell us your story. What happened when you went into the garage? Well, my father was staining some wood, and I just hopped out there, and I asked, could I mess around? And he said, sure. So I sat down with a, with a little wood and, and some paint, and I just started, and I, and I realized I focused on how much I loved it more than how good I was. And he turned around and he was so surprised and I didn't quite understand what he was so surprised about. And my parents just kept putting canvases in front of me and some paint and I started and I loved it so much. Wow, what wonderful parents, by the way, to do that. We have, we have um, some footage we want to share of you in action painting. Let's take a look at this and then here's Autumn. She is a child prodigy and has been called an artistic genius and debuting on the Discovery Channel and selling more than $100,000 worth of paintings. Yeah, here's the catch. She's eight. <laughs> I started just taking a little canvas, a little stain. I just started and I realized how, how fun it was. So my grandmother gave me a little Barbie from the seven year of Marilyn Monroe. DeForest, who spoke before a crowd of Benjamin School elementary students this afternoon, was the youngest artist ever featured at the National Art Education Association's annual convention. Her paintings sell anywhere from $1,200 to $26,000. In 25 years, I have not seen a child prodigy who has her own vision, who has such an incredible insight about the world, and also has the ability to show us her vision. I want to inspire others. I want to inspire others with my art. You're so amazing. Well, I thought um, at five, almost six, um, I thought, well, you know, I, I've, I've been through my toddler phase, so I want to do something to, uh, to help the world. Here's your painting, Miss Wendy. I hope you enjoy it as much as I love doing it. Bye. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so did you have any formal training at all? Like after you got started, did you then begin to study and get formal training at all? No, I've never, I've, I've taught myself. I've never went to a specific art class. Not at all? No. And how many paintings do you think you have done in your career so far? I would say hundreds. Hundreds. All right. I love that you use the word career. Career. She's 11. And she's, uh, do you, what do you see? Like when, I, I, obviously you paint portraits, but when you're just creating, do you see it? Do you feel it? Is it a process? Or, yeah. Well, I paint all different kinds of things. I, mm -hmm. I paint portraits and I paint abstract, expressionist. And when I do paint, I feel, 
I feel as though that it's almost carrying me, almost like a maze. When you do a maze until until you hit uh, a line, and then you say, "Okay, that that that's a little mistake," and then you go up and you just start doing it again and let it carry you into until the end. And I feel as though that's my process in painting. I just let I just let the brush carry me. I understand that where you get your infor uh, your inspiration from from dreams and from objects and things that you see people doing or objects that you see around around you and then you you see them in different forms and then you end up putting it on canvas somehow. Is this the process that you use? You get inspiration from all kinds of things? Yes, yes. Sometimes I, I just get ins inspirations from regular things like crayons or or Barbies and and I love being inspired by artists and like who? Andy Warhol, Jackson Pollock, L L William de Kooning, Picasso, Van Gogh, Jasper Johns, Dali, George O'Keefe. I mean, it goes on and oh, on. Goodness. Did your parents buy you art books so you can study their process? Or you, yes, you, yes. Yeah. I just I I love I love being inspired and when t when I'm inspired and I want to say oh. I, I want to do that. I put my own little twist on it. So yes, when somebody sees it, they might they might say, "Oh wow, that looks like an Andy Warhol. That almost looks like a Jackson Pollock." But it has her own twist on it. It's not exactly the same. So how do you feel about all the attention that you're getting in these? Your paintings are being sold for twenty six, thirty thousand dollars. I'm not the money girl. I don't have the paintings. <laughs> wow. All Did I, you hear that? I heard wow. that. There is one out there. Okay. All I, all I know is I love to paint. That's sure. all I know. That's it. So, but do you, do you shy away from all the attention that when no. you get? You enjoy you enjoy the spotlight at least. You enjoy some of that. Yes, yes. Yeah. But I love talking to people and I love explaining my paintings to them. Sure. And you've been to to schools to teach uh, to, to talk to students. Yes. From students from kindergarten all the way on up to adults. Yes, and I've also been asked to speak at Harvard University. Oh, have you, or is yes. this in the future? Uh, I've been asked to. I'm going to, but not uh, uh, not quite yet. What's um, your message? We're setting it up. What's your message when you talk to you know? I've got a son your age, and I'd love to go home and say, "Here's a message <laughs> uh, <laughs> from yes. a prodigy." Yes. How many? <laughs> what, what do I what do I tell him? My message to kids would be, whatever you love, you can do it too. Whether it's painting, whether it's whether it's basketball, whether it's a sport, whatever you love, you can do it too. Just just focus on how much you love it more than how good you are. You are an inspiration, an extraordinary yeah. person. Thank you. I can't wait till, for you to teach us. We're going to go out in our backyard. Can you teach us? Yeah. Yes. You can teach us. All right. We're going to go out in the back. And, and We're going to learn something <laughs> called cold painting, cold. right? Cold painting? Yes. Is that what you're going to teach us? Yep. Okay. Yes. We're on. back with Autumn Come right on. after this. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, we are back with Autumn DeForest, and she's a child prodigy. I can't even get my glove on right now. She's painting like crazy. I'm like, I can't get my glove on. That's because you're supposed to use the she's... blue ones. That's those are for yeah. kids. Oh. Well, I don't know. This oh, works. there's the blue yeah. ones. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, that's all I had left. They're extra, and extra. Mercedes and I, I used it. Yeah. She's okay. Right. Sorry, okay. sorry. I have smaller right. hands uh, than you. Uh, all right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> so we're going to do a process called pole painting. Is this yes. something that you've thought up yourself? Yes, I made this technique up, and it's just a really interesting technique because you you put just strips of paint on one side of the painting. You take the the long wire, and you just pull you pull it across the painting, and and you can have different colors, and that will make it really blend in and have the colors almost talk to each other. And what, can we pick any colors over here? Sure. Why don't you want to sh start showing us the process? Sure. Um, why don't you pick about four colors since it's your birthday? Birthday. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Crew. Oh, okay. I feel so small right yeah. now. Don't you just yeah. smell? Since it's your birthday, <laughs> so I would kind. like to give something from the heart. And, okay, oh, great. And maybe I'll put a little bit of purple. Lovely. Great, great colors. Fantastic thank you. choice. Like, okay. Scheme here. So, I got her so, approval. This is good. So what do, what do you do? So what I do is I just put I I put strips on the side because okay. if we use puddles, it's only going to go in one blob. Okay, so you can we'll, show me how to do that. Sure. So oh. 
And can we help it anyway? Or yeah. You... Yes. Uh, let me just. She's like, the... no, Mark, don't screw <laughs> this up. <laughs> uh, okay. So I'm just going to do the first poll to give you an idea of. So oh, you put it on top of each other. Yes. Oh. Yes. And. Okay. So I'll just use these two for now. And you would like uh, just uh, the small one, the big one? What? Sure. I'll just use this. Okay. And t start about one inch um, right behind the paint. Uh -huh. And to just give you a little wiggle room. And then oh, you slowly God. go across. Oh. Oh, I have now something to show. Now, how did you come up with this technique? Well, my mother was dusting, and she was. <laughs> she, Your mother was dusting. Of course, she was. Oh my gosh! That's and incredible. Um, and she was. She she had a long duster with the duster on top, and she was dusting the cabinets. And I thought, how interesting would it be to to use that, but on a canvas. Oh my That's gosh, it's beautiful. My it's mom like would have said, iodine. Yeah, my mom would have said, get up off the couch and help me dust. <laughs> and you're like going, I'm seeing paint. This is I see art, this mom. Is incredible. That's beautiful. That's so So beautiful. when you create, what do you what do you do you have an atmosphere that you create? Is it a day night? Do you have to do you get up in the middle of the night and go, I'm inspired? Um some yes, yeah, sometimes I'll I'll get up in the middle of the night and I'll I might have a dream that that inspires me, yeah. and I, I will say, "Oh my gosh, I, 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 I want to go paint. I want to go paint because okay. this is such a great idea." And and sometimes I'll just see my mother and I can be driving in the car, and I see a sign, and I think, "Wow, that's that's." That could be a great thing to paint. Have you ever gotten up in the middle of the night and got out of bed and started painting? Yes. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. Yes. Do you listen to music or something to help you paint? Or? What I put on in the background when I'm painting is a radio show called Car Talk. Car Talk. And it's Talk just about, about the <laughs> yes, it, it, the, it's about these two <laughs> brothers who 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 call, people call them and they. They help them with cars. Of course, why wouldn't you do that? Can we continue that? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. sure. All right, so, then, yeah, so Mark, 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 you want to pick your colors? Yeah, sure. so I would love to pick those. You want to go pick your colors? Yeah. And let's, no, I would. Can, yeah. can I use these? I like sure. these. <laughs> okay, could you do some more for us? Can I do sure. this? Here? Sure. You, here. What well, colors do you want? We have Mercedes work with you. Okay. okay, come on over. There you go. Okay, you take that one. Okay. We're just so going to do gonna... a little bit of a... Can you pour it on the color you already have? Sure, sure, sure. Going this way? Yeah. Can Voila. This okay. Way? okay, and then I'm supposed to You go right alongside of it. Yeah. Sure. Okay. This, and then yeah. but this is fun. See, there I go. There, there, you go. there I go. See, see, I, you know. See, That's if great. If I did this, I would have gotten in trouble as a kid. You spill paint all over. Spilled. Right? Okay. Cool. Here, look. That's so like that's great. Color. Okay. Wait, I want one more color. Okay. Let's see. What can we do? Orange. Yeah. Okay. An orange? Okay. Here, that's I'll, great. I'm going to put my back. Why don't we and it's really, yeah. it's really fantastic. It's Here really fantastic. Okay, so we what? drag it along or? Yeah. Yes. Dress just okay. dra okay. just drag it along and and we'll meet in the middle. Oh, look at that. Look, look how beautiful. Oh. She's going to meet you in the middle. I'll meet you in the middle. Me meet you back here. Meet you in the middle. I love those colors. They're oh, beautiful. Look at that. Try to keep up. Come on, come I on. lost my paint. Wait. My paint. It's okay. Did he go back and get his paint? Yes. Yes, you can go okay, back. Stay there. I have an idea. Back. Stay there. They, oh, oh, oh. There's a new technique. Oh, a new technique. New sure. Technique. Oh, beautiful. Oh. I do that all the time. This, like would be, this would be great on shirts. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is good. Oh. Do you ever do you do you use this as a background paint something over sure. it? Sure, and you colors. can see that that I did the pole painting the blue, there. The aqua blue. You did this the, one here or this the, one? that one? Yeah. One. Can we take a picture? She did it on Belle over here on this painting with Belle. She did the pole painting. Where do you want to? Here, that strong. technique there. And I put the image over it. And you put the image, and she put the image over that. Hello, we're painting. <laughs> we're painting. Hello. Hi. Hi everybody. <laughs> Woo! Check out her art. It no. rocks. Come around. So look, let me do this. Here we go. We're gonna start. We're gonna meet in the middle. And boom. And she's gonna go. Oh, oh. <gasps> Wanna go over us? That's extraordinary. Switch. Wait. 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 Coming back to go get ahead. some more. Okay. There. There you go. I cannot believe we're doing this. Now why don't we? Why don't so I? You can just, do something else. Why don't you put a little bl blue on there? Cause keep in mind, blue 
is the opposite of orange. So the blue is opposite of orange. Sure. Okay. Why don't you? I had no that? idea that so was the case. <laughs> okay, I think I found you art for my my walls at the house. <laughs> I'm gonna have this my is... three year old do this. This Perfect. is extraordinary. I could do this, this all great. day. Isn't okay. this therapeutic? Well, we, stay well, back we here were going to finish, finish this. Yeah. The show. Dr. I'm Karen Oliver is going to be here. She's going to be talking about a, a subject that's so sure. important to women. It yeah. affects one in three, and sure. you need to know about yeah. it. And we may be here for the rest of the show. This is a lot of fun. Yeah. More when we come back. Don't go away. Wow. Right? Okay, we are back. I'm out here with Autumn, and she is DeForest, and she's creating. And I just couldn't walk away from this process. It's so beautiful to, to see. Hey, Mark, what are you doing we out are, there? Christina, this is amazing. I'm having conversations with Autumn. I have to remind myself she's 11, and she's talking about the energy that she's transferring into this and what she sees and how she creates with different emotions and, uh, and just where the flow is in all this. I can't believe that uh, you're 11 <laughs> and doing this. Are we almost finished? Um, or how do you know you're finished? When when I keep going and I say, you know what, if I do any more, it's just going to get muddy or it's just going to look too much, then I, I say, know. okay, th this let's set this aside. But what I do is I just keep layering. I keep layering on it. And, you know, this this is sometimes what I do is I'll say, this is great. Let's I'll put a, a, a coat of re or varnish on it and then start again. And the varnish just seals it so it won't get messed up. Well, I'm not going to tell her she's finished. We're going to just let her decide that on her own. But I think it looks fabulous, right? Thank so you. So we'll leave it at that. Okay, back out here on the deck. Orly Shani's in the house with Christina. We're going to get to her in a minute. I had to check on Autumn real quick. You're moving right along. She says there's one little thing she wants to do yet. She's not going to tell me what it is. But I asked her, can you show me how you did these little? Sure. Uh, what, how did you get those marks? Well. When I was doing it, I thought the pool painting was really great, but it's just it's sometimes it gets a little it gets a little blocky. So I thought, how about I blend it together and and you know, with the blending, oh, there always comes a little surprise. So I just kind of almost whip it. And it makes all these interesting almost little marks. It's very good. Wow. There's so much energy in that. Christina, uh, you guys are creating in there as well. I'm saying we're winning in the creative battle, but go ahead, Orly, take it over. Show us. Yeah, I have thanks a lot. How do you say Autumn? that here? What are, what are we supposed what? to do? Take a brush yeah. and do this? I know. I mean, just, she's incredible. I mean, my oh, God, she... I'm feeling incredibly inadequate. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. We, you know thanks what? A lot. We don't even want to do the segment now. I'm no. right. we're, we're, done. Done. we're over it. What well, have I done? I mean, who we're going to talk about that? jackets, I suppose. Yeah, who could so, what we're here to talk about, although, Wah, wah, wah. Um, is are these jackets? All right. So what? Where are we in our beautiful painting that you made? Um, well, I just I started doing this and I added some color to boost up a couple things because things can get very muddy when you mix a bunch of colors together. Right. And it's great to bump things uh, up a little bit. And how I, did you bump it? With the bright colors. With oh, these. the bright colors. And I noticed when you were with Mark, you were hitting it. It's really extraordinary. Yes. If you see this in person, it's quite extraordinary. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. But I'm just going to add a little bit of blue right there to bump that up. And as you can see, it kind of, it's kind of being blocked by all the other colors. Yes. Ah, oh, look at that. Uh huh. This dries pretty quickly, Autumn, doesn't yes. it? Yes. The acrylics, right? Okay. So we're going to continue our painting, and we're going to check with Mark <laughs> back into the. Room. <laughs> We are back. We're good.